Hey guys, Andrew Marsh here with DrewFit.com. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about DHA and its importance that it plays in today's healthy lifestyle. So what is DHA? It is docosahexaenoic acid. The name isn't important, neither is the pronunciation, but the consumption of it is very important. So what is DHA? It is the essential fatty acid found in polyunsaturated fats and you can find it in things like grass-fed beef, eggs, algae, um, certain supplements like cod liver oil, krill oil, salmon oil, things of that nature. And I want to be clear, before you go out and buy a supplement and try to supplement DHA, I'm going to tell you that may not be the best idea simply because in my opinion getting back to mother nature and getting it in its full form is the best thing to do. Not only that, but a lot of the supplements that you're going to find in stores are going to be rancid, they're going to be processed not so good, and they're going to be sitting under blue light all day long. So something to think of when uh, going the supplement route. So another thing I want to jump into is some people will tell you that DHA is something that can be made endogenously, meaning that if you consume flaxseed that your body would create DHA naturally. That has been found to be a fallacy. So what DHA is, is it is exogenous, meaning you must consume it inside, internally. So where do I recommend getting it? Seafood. You're going to want to consume things like salmon, tuna, halibut, cod liver, oysters, mackerel, sardines, the list goes on and on. And what you're going to notice about all these fish is that they are mainly cold water fish, meaning that they may only exist in northern and southern latitudes, and I'll get into that a little bit later as, it's, as to its relevance to you. So DHA plus sunlight plus high quality water equals DC electric current running efficiently. So what is the DC electric current? You can think of it essentially as a battery to a car. If you have a battery that's not working, I'm sorry to tell you, but your car is not going anywhere as is the human body. If you have a poor DC electric current within the body, you're going to start leaving your body susceptible to certain illnesses and disease because what the DC electric current does to the body is tissue regeneration. And I'm going to say that again, tissue regeneration, meaning your body is able to regenerate itself. And that is a normal bodily function that should be taking place on a daily basis. So if your body is not regenerating tissues, this is going to leave you susceptible, if your brain's not regenerating itself, it's going to be shrinking, leaving you susceptible to things like multiple sclerosis, ALS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia, the list goes on and on. Um, heart disease, diabetes, macular degeneration, whatever it is. If your body's not regenerating, it's obviously going down. So, how do we mitigate this issue? By consuming DHA, getting in the sun, and avoiding some toxic things in our environment. We'll touch on that in a little bit. So like I said, DHA, critical component for a healthy body, but also very um, critical for healthy functioning mitochondria. Now what is mitochondria? I've said this before, it is the energy powerhouse of the cell, and it is also responsible for creating water at a cellular level. So your cells are hydrated, meaning healthy cells, healthy body. Another thing that DHA does is it helps increase your redox potential. What is redox potential? It's essentially just a net gain of electrons in the body. You're, you want electrons because it, it's what gets things flowing. It, it's what helps the DC electric current. When you lose a net gain of electrons, that's when stuff starts to hit the fan and again, you leave yourself susceptible. So you want to increase your redox potential by getting DHA, getting in the sun, grounding yourself, and so on and so forth. Now back to the cold water fish that I was discussing and the latitude. So latitude matters a lot in the consumption of DHA. So what this means, if you've read uh, Dr. Weston A. Price's work, what you'll notice is that when he studied the Eskimos or Inuits, they lived on the northern or southern latitude and they consumed mostly all fish they weren't getting as much sunlight as people on the equator. And what he noticed with people on the equator, they didn't consume as much of these cold water fish simply because they weren't in the environment. So if you live near the equator and you're getting adequate sun, 
you may not need to consume as much DHA. However, I would argue in today's blue lit world with non-native EMFs, I think everybody should be consuming DHA and getting in the sun. But especially if you live on a northern or southern latitude, you really need to increase your DHA. So, something else to take into account and look at where you're living or where you may want to live. So another thing to know about DHA is in our bodies right now, but when we are constant, constantly exposed to things like blue light or non-native EMFs, we are draining our DHA. So when you're exposed to blue light and EMFs, in the cell membrane, you begin to lose DHA. And when you lose DHA in the cell membrane, you lose melatonin, especially in the eyes. And if you know what melatonin is, Melatonin is, excuse me, that is considered the sleep hormone and it is also essential for healthy mitochondria. So if you're losing melatonin, you aren't going to be getting sleep, your whole body circadian rhythm is going to be off, and again, you leave your body susceptible to illness and disease. So you really want to increase your DHA and you want to mitigate issues to where your body might be losing DHA. So you wanna maybe purchase some of these goofy glasses I got on and block the blue light when you're looking at your phone, when you're watching TV, when you're on a computer at work, being blasted by fluorescent light, whatever, wherever you may be, put these blue light blocking glasses on to help mitigate this issue. Again, for EMFs, you wanna stay away from dense populations, you wanna stay away from cell phone towers, and if you have a Wi-Fi router in your room, um, you wanna avoid being in your room when that is plugged in and maybe avoid being in the house. Uh, me personally, I unplug it when I go to bed at night. I keep my phone in airplane mode away from me charging. So I really try to take um, precaution when dealing with EMS and blue light, as should you if you want to be as healthy as you can be. So that's just about it for DHA. I can get into it a little bit more, but I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys take away a lot of this and start implementing some of these ideas. And if you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.